imagine a world where sleeplessness isn't just a fleeting sensation that we all experience after a long day, but a constant companion, a relentless force that dominates your waking hours. This is the world of narcolepsy, a chronic neurological condition that defies the boundaries of our understanding and challenges the limits of human resilience. Narcolepsy isn't just about feeling tired. It's a complex tapestry of symptoms that weave together to form a unique and often bewildering experience. The hallmark sign is an overpowering daytime drowsiness that can strike at any moment. Imagine sitting in a meeting, engaged in conversation, and then suddenly your consciousness slips away. You're plunged into a micro dream, a fleeting snippet of sleep. It's a battle against the relentless tide of sleep that threatens to pull you under even in the most unexpected circumstances. At the heart of narcolepsy lies a puzzle, a neurotransmitter called hypocretin, which is responsible for keeping us awake and alert, is in short supply. Think of it as the conductor of an orchestra guiding the ebb and flow of wakefulness and sleep. But in narcolepsy, this conductor is absent or muted, leaving the symphony of sleep-wake cycle in disarray. Scientists believe that a combination of genetic predisposition, environmental triggers, and even autoimmune responses may contribute to this perplexing shortage of hypocretin. One of the most dramatic manifestations of narcolepsy is cataplexy. It's as if emotions have the power to short-circuit the body's control over muscles. A hearty laugh, a surge of anger, and suddenly your body goes limp. Muscles surrendering their strength. Imagine experiencing joy or frustration, only to have your physicality betray you, leaving you momentarily paralyzed. It truly is a dance with vulnerability, a reminder of the intricate connections between our emotions and our physical selves. In the realm of narcolepsy, the transition from wakefulness to sleep is not seamless. Sleep paralysis, another facet of this condition, descends like a shroud upon awakening or falling asleep. You find yourself in a twilight zone where your mind is awake, but your body is locked. It's locked and still. Hallucinations then begin to play tricks on your senses, blurring the line between dreams and reality. It's a sensation that pierces the veil between our conscious and subconscious worlds, leaving you momentarily suspended between two realms. As if these challenges weren't enough, Narcolepsy often brings with it vivid dreamlike experiences as you're just on the cusp of sleeping. These hallucinations paint a surreal canvas of sights and sounds, bridging the waking world in the realm of dreams. It's a reminder that the boundaries of our minds are more fluid than we might imagine. Yet, in the midst of all these trials, there are stories of resilience and triumph that shine like beacons in the night. Consider Harriet Tubman whose indomitable spirit guided countless slaves to freedom through the Underground Railroad. Narcolepsy may have tried to shroud her in darkness, but her resolve blazed a path of light for others. And there's Jimmy Kimmel, the familiar face on our screens, who navigated the unpredictable terrain of narcolepsy while making us laugh. His openness about his experiences reminds us that even in the face of relentless condition, the human spirit finds a way to shine through. Narcolepsy is a testament to the intricacies of our brains, the fragility of our boundaries, and the strength of human spirit. It's a reminder that behind every challenge lies a story waiting to be told, and within every struggle, there's a potential for resilience to emerge, forging a path to a brighter tomorrow. These are Interesting Things with J.C.